All right, y'all, this is it. We are going to do the stock air box versus the K&N video on the 2000 TJ. We got the K&N down there, and then we also have a velocity stack there we can try. Um, the first dyno session didn't go very well. The 3D printed version actually broke. So I printed another one that's a little bit stronger, so hopefully it will make it through the dyno poles. We have it all hooked up here on the dyno, all set up. We have air fuel. We're also going to be monitoring with HP tuners. And we're not going to shut it off the whole way through. I'm just going to go ahead and, and swap the intakes as we go through without even shutting it off. So let's get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the logging on HP tuners here. This is just the scanner software. Get a little bit of an idea of what's going on as we do the pulls. stock air box poll number one we're gonna do uh, two poles with the stock air box we're gonna swap it to the K&N we'll do two more poles with the K&N and then we'll put on the velocity stack Poll number one today, get 151 horsepower, 191 torque, and our air fuels, high 14s, dipping down to low 14s at the top of the run. All right, let's go ahead and do a second poll. Second pull, 150.8, 191 torque. Air fuel's relatively unchanged from the first pull. So let's go ahead and swap out this air box.
Yeah, something about like that. And let's go ahead and do our third pull. was 159.2 max torque 196.3 and our air fuel really didn't change too much until right at the top it might be just a touch leaner and let's go ahead and do the fourth pull Pull number four, 158.01, torque 194.9, air fuel roughly about the same. Not a huge difference from run to run. So let's go ahead, scan that off here. And we'll put the velocity stack on. Hang on, I gotta put you down for a second while I tighten this clamp. All right, velocity stack is on. is 197.7 so a very slight increase over the K&N <laughs> 
but air fuel is roughly unchanged as well. Let's go ahead and do our last pull. short and long-term adaptives are going to zero as the fuel system goes into open loop. Um, leads me to believe anyway that uh, the factory PCM, at least at wide open throttle, cannot compensate the uh, fuel mixture <clears throat> because in open loop, you're not gonna get any feedback that's gonna affect those trims. They all, they go to zero on every single run. Um, Maybe over a long, long period of time, you might get a uh, long term that might stick, but at least on the dyno, pull after pull, we're not seeing any change in the long terms or the short terms. All right, so that run was 160.3, 195 torque, and air fuel roughly about the same as it's been during all the poles and yeah just like our velocity stack held up so I guess in conclusion we want to look at the numbers here um, from from pole one all the way to, to pole six 151 to 160 or from pole one to pull two, which I guess has disappeared. Pull three is roughly about the same, uh, 159. So that's a that's an eight horsepower increase um, with the uh, K and N. Obviously, the velocity stack was another horsepower or two, but the complete lack of filtration <laughs> wouldn't make up for that horsepower at all, in my opinion. Um, but yeah. There you have it.